All right, so let's get things started with our simple buttercream icing uh, for today. Now, when you make this icing, I'm gonna go over the ingredients and the equipment needed to successfully make this. The number one thing that you need uh, to make this is a stand mixer. This is a KitchenAid uh, model, <clears throat> but any type of you know five quart stand mixer would work for this operation. Uh, we have the KitchenAid model today. Um, with the KitchenAid mixer, we're going to need two of the attachments that uh, go along with the mixer. We need the paddle attachment, okay, and we need the whip attachment. We need both of these to make this buttercream successfully. We switch them on and off during the course of the uh, mixing process. So we need the whip and the paddle attachment for the KitchenAid. We also need a rubber spatula uh, for this, uh, for scraping the bowl and getting the buttercream out of the bowl when it's done. So rubber spatula uh, comes in handy. Now let's go over our ingredients. Again, this buttercream features a, a, just a few staples uh, that you might be able to find in your pantry already, but it only has a few ingredients uh, to make this. Number one is whole butter, okay? Now this recipe will be posted in the description of the video, so please find the recipe there. Uh, very, very simple. So whole butter, shortening, hot water, almond extract, and vanilla extract. Um, we're also going to add the powdered sugar uh, to this uh, particular icing as well. So we've got the powdered sugar that we're going to go ahead and start with as well. So those are the ingredients to the buttercream, which is going to make this a very, very simple uh, buttercream to put together. So first and foremost, I'm going to add my butter and my shortening to the stand mixer and I'm going to outfit that with the paddle attachment. All right, I'm gonna add my shortening in. Now, by the way, a little tip here, the shortening and the butter needs to be softened prior to making this. I would not try to make this with uh, cold uh, butter or shortening. And notice how soft it is. When you just leave it out at room temperature, it gets very, very nice and workable uh, so that it mixes properly. If you were to do, try to do this with cold butter, it would not whip um, correctly and you would not come out with the desired consistency. All right, so I got my butter in there, my shortening. Next thing that I wanna do is add a little bit, probably half of the amount of the powdered sugar in here. Again, the recipe is posted in the description, so you'll see all the different weights and measurements that you're going to need for this. I want to put half in, and I'll put half in once that gets mixed together. The reason why I add half and half is so the bowl and the mixer does not become overwhelmed with the powdered sugar, and it comes out on the uh, our tabletop here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bowl up in the mixing direction and then turn it on low just to start again you don't want that to kind of go all over the place which we did a little bit all right now the, once the bowl and the mixer get to this stage, this is when you want to stop and add the rest of the powdered sugar. What I like about this buttercream is it's not real, real thick. It's nice and light, has a really nice flavor. And it really does a nice job when you actually apply it to the pastries and the cookies uh, that you're making.
Okay, so now I wanted to reposition the uh, camera a little closer so that you can actually see uh, what's going on kind of in the mixer right now. We have our butter, we have our shortening, and we have the powdered sugar in the mixer with the paddle attachment. As you can see, I don't have it on real high speed right now. I just want that butter and that powdered sugar and that shortening to kind of come together in a homogenous mixture. Now I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed a little bit. Now what that's going to do is it's going to, you know, throw all the stuff that was on the paddle to the outsides of the bowl. Okay, now I can get my rubber scraper and go ahead and scrape the sides of the bowl down. And why I do this is to make sure that I evenly distribute the butter, the shortening, and the sugar to make sure it's all mixed together correctly. So we have no lumps of, you know, just butter or shortening in there. Uh, and our icing is a smooth consistency throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the mixer back on. Okay. Our mixture is coming together very, very nicely. Now this is the time where I'm going to add our five ounces of hot water and our vanilla and almond extracts. So I'm going to go ahead and add our water now. But what the water is going to do is it's going to soften the butter and the shortening. And it's going to create a very, very nice light texture. Notice I still have the paddle attachment in here. We don't switch to the whisk until after we get this together with the paddle. And then I'll show you what uh, the next step is with the whisk here. But I'm going to go ahead and let that water emulsify inside that butter and shortening. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my almond extract, vanilla extract, I'm going to shut the machine off, lower the bowl. I'm going to scrape down again. Make sure we get everything off the sides here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this on in one second. All right, now the time is where we're going to switch the paddle to the whisk. So I'm going to get the, uh, the whisk off here, or the paddle off. Make sure you clean all the butter and shortening that's on the paddle off of there first. Yeah. All right, now we will fit this with the whisk attachment. Pull the bowl up. We're going to whisk on medium high speed for a few moments just to kind of get some volume going. Now I'm going to turn it up to high. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you inside the bowl close up and show you what's going on here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. 
All right, now this is the stage where I put the bowl back on and let the mixer on low speed until this buttercream gets really, really nice and light and fluffy. It takes about, say, 20 to 30 minutes uh, to get the proper consistency. So I will see you back in about 20 minutes and we'll see how our buttercream is looking. All right, 20 minutes has passed. Our buttercream is looking really, really nice. I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. I'm gonna shut the mixer off, bring the bowl down. What you're gonna see is this buttercream is just so silky smooth and has a really, really awesome texture for decorating cakes and cookies and any types of pastries I mean that is that is beautiful and like I said it's a really 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 nice light pastry uh, buttercream that is not too sweet sometimes you get those pastry creams that are just really really over sweetened and it almost makes it so you can't finish the piece of cake this is a really really nice flavored um, and has a really nice sweet content so I'm going to go ahead and actually put this buttercream to action and I'm going to pipe it onto a cupcake and show you what the consistency looks like in that fashion. But you could take this buttercream, this particular buttercream, and you could color it however you would like, you know, using any types of food coloring um, in there. You can make multiple colors uh, to uh, decorate your pastries and so on. So, but it is a really, really nice base buttercream for that uh, particular production. So I'm going to go ahead and fill our pastry bag with our buttercream. And you saw how simple that was. It was just a few ingredients. Shortening, the butter, powdered sugar, a little bit of almond extract, and the hot water. And uh, you know, you just follow that mixing procedure and it comes out perfect every single time. It's just really, really efficient and really works well. So I'm going to go ahead and get the pastry bag filled with our buttercream that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and just do a simple rosette on here. And that pipes beautifully on our cupcake. So we'll go ahead and zoom in on that, let you show that. That is a really, really nice buttercream for any pastry. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now.